Hey guys, it is the 19th of June. My name is Jess McDonald, and we're gonna make GS News happen. Hopefully, it does better than Fetch. Ubisoft have sidled up to Witcher Dev CD Projekt Red in saying that DRM is not gonna stop piracy. Ubi said quite rightly that they reckon any game can be cracked with enough time and effort and that they'd rather put their time into making games people actually want to pay for. VP of Digital Publishing for the company Chris Early said, I don't want us in a position where we're punishing a paying player for what a pirate can get around. Anything is going to be able to be pirated given enough time and effort to get in there. So the question becomes, what do we create as services or as benefits and the quality of the game that will have people just want to pay for? For it. He also noted that baking in online experiences that aren't available to gamers with illegal copies is a good way to fight the pirates. The criminal ones, not the Assassin's Creed ones. Man, I guess they really want us to keep using Uplay. Meanwhile, CEO of Ubisoft is Glamo has not given up on the Wii U, and so neither should you. Well, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but here's what Eve's had to say. Guillermo explained to CVG with Mario Kart, Wii U made one step and we can expect with Smash Brothers it will also do more. If Nintendo put the right price on the machine, then they will probably have a chance to do further. The console currently retails for 299 bucks and has sold 6.71 million units as of March 31 this year. Guillermo rounded off by hinting at a shelved Wii U game that Yubi has lying around and by stating that a larger software collection and install base is is likely to set the console up for a brighter 2014. In yet more Ubisoft news, Watch Dogs is getting an official patch complete with improvements to performance and stability. You can find the complete list of fixes on GameSpot, but in summary, the PC and console patch will do things like resolve game-breaking bugs, address graphical glitches, increase performance, and generally make the game a whole lot better. The PC version of the patch will be coming in the next few days. And is what is certainly my favorite headline of the week so far, Ubisoft were, actually you know I'm just gonna give it to you verbatim, Ubisoft pleasantly surprised by fan reaction to elephants. Ubisoft Montreal have commented on the fact that we were all like holy crap elephants after this year's Far Cry 4 reveal, much like we were all holy crap man eating tigers when we got our first glimpse of Far Cry 3. If you weren't in the know, you can ride and control Far Cry 4's elephants, so if you want to trampede baddies and get around in style, you'd be mad to go for any other option. Level design director Mark Thompson said the fact that it's part vehicle, part weapon, and it's just generating so many more player stories than we thought. It's great to see just how excited people get when they get hands on with that elephant. Let me know in the comments if you're keen for the pachyderms or if there's another animal in video games that holds a special place in your heart. That is it from me today. I'll be back tomorrow with my top 5 favorite stories of the entire week if you need to get caught up. So I'll see you then.